Today's Tarkov video is pretty important for everybody. I will show you how you can make millions in Tarkov 12.11 right now and it's possible for literally everybody. Let's go guys. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back, glad to have you here and this video will help you to make millions in Tarkov and as I said, everybody can do it because everybody can spend his time on the right way in Tarkov to make the money in Tarkov right now. It doesn't matter if you have like only one hour or eight hours or 24 hours, it really doesn't matter. Of course, if you invest more, you will get more, but that's normal. Let's start. I have some tactics, tips and guides for you if you have a lot of time or if you don't have that much time. So we should start with the basics. And the basics are to make money in Escape from Tarkov, you should use your time and of course your money, which you already have, to be efficient. And as I said, it doesn't matter if you only have half an hour or two hours or 24 hours, you should really be efficient. If you want to make some progress and some money in Tarkov, you have to be efficient. Of course, you can have some fun, some fun with your teammates and quests and all of that. But this video is all about progress and money, of course. Even if you are level one and you don't have that much time, you can start with the following tip, collect valuable items. And it sounds pretty easy because it is pretty easy. You only have to have a little bit of knowledge of the current status of the wipe. And I've mentioned that earlier in my Escape from Tarkov money making videos, especially right now. I know, for example, and it's pretty obvious, not everybody is on the flea market. Not everybody's level 20. So the prices right now are not the best prices to sell some items to the community. For example, hoses, blood sets, natrium, sugar and all of that stuff is not so much needed, doesn't have a high demand right now, but it will go up or you have to know when it's going down and you have to be on the right edge and on the top of the curve and selling it. So you can start and collect a lot of items. Even if you don't have the flea market, you can collect valuable items which have a certain price for some vendors and you can vendor them directly to the trader or you keep them and you are selling it if you are level 20. Gunsmith parts, for example. Let me show you some parts right now. The AFG OD grip, for example, is needed for a gunsmith Part. I don't know, not know which one, 93k, some suppressors, the shift grip of course, um, and a lot, a lot of different stuff. And you can loot it, you only have to be a little bit lucky, but, and that's another point uh, in my list, you can force your luck. If you are looking for specific items, you can force your luck. Loot every jacket. Jackets are insane. And you only need one very pricey item or one item which give you a certain access to pricey items and you will be on a good way to make a lot of money. For example, let me show that to you. I was very lucky this wipe and I've looted the ultra medical storage key from a jacket. I do not know which one, it doesn't matter, it's complete random. This key is perfect. Right now it's selling for 2.7 million, but I will keep it because I need for my progress, found and raid Ladex for the quest, of course, and you need Ladex for your hideout. So right now I found two in two raids for myself and I found another one in my two raids. So three out of two uh, and I give it to my buddy. So he need one. He needs one found and raid for his quest as well. And right now let's check the price. It's not so high because not everybody, not the majority of the player base needs a Ladex right now, of course. but. Even if you die, this Ladex is worth around 300k. And in my first round, I found the defibrillator. I give it to Ola Brolo. He needs it for his, or he needed it for his quest, and you are good to go. So you only have to be lucky for one single time. Of course, this key is pretty good, but let's continue with some markroom keys or 226 for um, for uh, shoreline. And uh, there is a lot of keys. You only have to have one good key or be a little bit lucky uh, and you can find some wild key cards or some other key cards and you can sell them. And if you have this certain item, farm it. For example, the best way for myself right now to make some money is either farm for the marked room on dorms, in on, on customs or go for the ultra medical or go for shoreline. But shoreline right now is pretty crowded. Dorms mark room is okay because not everybody has the key and the best choice would be interchange because Almost nobody has the ultra medical key and I'm always good to go 
especially if you go on night raids. I had a almost 100% survival rate. If I'm looking for the ultra medical run, I'm doing pretty well on interchange with that with that method. And that's my next tip. Let's say you have a little bit or you collect a little bit of money, you should invest that money right now. And I said it in the last wipe, I made a video about it, about in my opinion, the best key on the market, it's the marked room key for dorms on customs. Right now, it's very, very cheap. 650k for 25 users is very cheap because, let me show you, I've looted the Holodnik. Even the Holodnik would be almost my key and right now the price for the Holodnik, Holodnik is low. Then I have looted one medical case. One medical case, a medicine case is about 330k. You can loot max case. Also looted one documents case and one key tool out of the mark room. So you have 25 tries to get a very good item. You will almost get a M1 from, from the raid, which is almost 70 to 60k. The M1A or VSS is also very good, 60 to 70k. And you can loot the jackpot if you find the RSASS. I think the price will go up a little bit. It's about 400 to 1 million. Last wave was about 1 million for uh, quite a long time. So I think you can do it very well if you are investing your money into the right key. For me, it's Mark Room. I do not like Shoreline that much, but even the Shoreline keys are pretty good. This room, 226 or 222, you can find uh, LEDX, graphics cards and all of that is also a very good key. 140k is nothing. Use your money and invest it. Also invest it into good gear. Right now, good gear is a level 4 or level 3 armor, but like these rigs are pretty nice. But if you want to be state of the art, I would not go with the hex crit for a good reason and it's stomach. You need a stomach protection and that's why I like level 5 armors with stomach protection. This one, the killer armor or any other armor with stomach protection or rig, the new rigs, uh, is pretty good. A lot of players are playing with magnum backshot or other shotguns and I almost died every time due to a shotgun player who hit me in the stomach. And that's why I don't like, do not like the hex grid in the slick right now. But even these rigs are pretty, pretty cheap for their performance. So make very good investments will help you a lot. Also, and I said it a lot, play the right weapon with the right ammunition. For example, right now it's enough to play an MP5, PP19, even the UMP. Just play the right ammo with your weapon. You don't have to modify the best gun out of it. 9mm is enough, but you need good ammo and 9mm right now is pretty, pretty decent. Let's continue with my list and almost everybody can do that is the hideout. The hideout right now is very powerful, especially the lavatory level 2 for a good reason. Of course, if, for quests and any other thing, you need fuel. I'm using the expeditionary fuel tank for a very specific reason and I will show that to you. You can craft out of two fuel tanks, metal scissors bolts and screws, you can craft one mech case. The mech case by itself is 320k. You need two of them, metal scissors, keg tape and bolts for one lucky scaff boss, box and you can sell it for about 1 million. So you need fuel as well, buy the bio fuel. It's around 60 to 70k. You need two of them, some bolts, screws and all of that. You can find it pretty easily. Interchange, shoreline, uh, woods, crates and all of that. It's very easy. I did not loot it or farm that specifically and I can easily craft one or one and a half lucky scaff box, some max case, which are tons of rubles right now by a passive income and that's pretty good. On top you can craft your 60 round max, you can sell them if you want, if you have keg tape, but it's not worth because they are pretty cheap and the keg tape is more expensive. I'm crafting it because I need it for the quest. You can craft water filter as well. Water filter will sell uh, mid or late wipe for 100k. Right now it's pretty damn cheap. Uh, it would even be, be very clever to, to buy it. Or the, the air filter and the filter, metal scissors, is, everything is pretty cheap right now. Try to invest if you want. You can buy these things, craft a water filter and sell it later on. On top of that, hoses. I think hoses will go up because you need them for your hideout, for your mid-tier hideout. And right now I think it's pretty cheap. 
because the majority of the player base is not on the flea. So you have a very low demand, let's say a low demand in terms of how much you can, you can, you, you, people are offering it. Let's, let's see this guy, he, he's selling 40 hoses because, and the reason for that is obvious because the materials to craft hoses are very cheap and very easy to get wires, blue tape, you can craft wires pretty easily. But what I try to say is your hideout can be very, very key early on, especially the lavatory level 2. I would try to get it, of course, the workbench as well. And the med station is also very nice on level 2. You can craft the defibrillator, some nice medical supplies and blood set. Blood set is also for 30 to 40k. So if you are a player with not that much time, I would go for the hideout, as I said, lavatory level 2. To find very good access to very specific rooms, scav bosses are good as well, especially Sanitar. Sanitar is pretty easy to kill, he has no armor, his guards are also not that easy, but they are manageable because they sometimes have Defender or the Giselle armor, but Sanitar itself is pretty easy to kill. I would go for Sanitar because you can loot the 110 East key on shoreline and this key is the key with tape that was his old name it's probably the 110 east key right now there it is as you can see 700k and the reason for that is quite simple you can loot up to three ladex and the ladex spawn is quite high right now this key is very pricey don't buy it i would i would buy it just go for sanitar and you or you will or you are lucky enough to find it in a jacket we have one guy he killed Sanitar twice, got the key twice, and we have one guy who found one 110 key and one key on Sanitar. So Sanitar is a good, good, good opinion or a good option to, to go for to get a very good key. Or you go for some some labs key cards from almost every other boss and the key card sells for 190k, but I would keep it. Go for labs, try it. You don't have to loot that much right now. To make profit out of your labs keycard. Of course it's a little bit complicated or let's say difficult if you're not familiar with labs of course but if you have a keycard train it in offline raid and go for a normal raid. I really would recommend on labs go for labs. Labs is the way to make money right now or in Tarkov in general labs is pretty powerful. At the end of the day Tarkov is all about experience and making some clever choices and be efficient. Of course you can have some fun as I said but even if you are having fun you can be very very efficient. For example, it's a very good choice to collect sugar, Alyonka and all of that stuff because it will go up in price. Maybe you can buy sugar right now if you're interested in crafting some moonshine and sell it afterwards. It really depends what you like. I do not like the crafting stuff. I like to sell sugar or Alyonka immediately. If I have some non-founder rate Alyonka, I will craft sugar out of it. So it's all about making clever decisions. In Tarkov it's almost all about knowledge. You have to know which status of the wipe we have right now to know which items have a very high and high demand and where can you get these items from. From which raid, from which boss, from which location. This is all. This is it. And with these methods you can easily make up millions and millions a day or in, in your time you want to spend in Tarkov but even the markroom method, it's pretty easy to make a very good profit out of it. And you only need 650,000 rubles. I know it sounds very high, but it's not. It's not if you are not wasting your money for pretty stupid items. Like, for example, if you are playing helmets all the time, it's 30 to 50k every raid, it's not necessary. Or if you're playing Glocks or if you're bringing a pistol with attachments every time or if you're bringing your whole stash into raid, this is absolutely not necessary. And believe me guys, don't go for hatchet runs. Hatchet runs are not worth it. Go at least with one pistol because with a pistol, even if it's a Makarov or TT or whatever, you can kill a scav. And this is a big upgrade and a pistol is pretty cheap. And this would be a big upgrade. I know it's pretty hard to know which decision is the right one, but believe me guys, I want to give you the best advice as I can and I will make a series how to get good in Tarkov, which will bring up this topic, making some good decisions. It sounds very easy, but it is actually easy if you know what you have to do, but 
Again, you are here on the Inside FPS channel to get a better gamer and our goal is to reach your goal together. So let me know what you think about this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And as always, we Germans want to win at least something. So that's why we need your like, because that's a win for us. And I would really appreciate it. As always, stay safe, guys, and see you in the next video.